100% retired. Yes. Let's say one day there's a situation, right? Maybe it's the 49ers, maybe, you know, heading to the playoffs, offense is great. Patriots, somebody, could be somebody, somebody, Raiders, somebody, could be, you never know. God forbid somebody goes down, would you pick up that phone? I'm not opposed to it. If they would, I don't know if they're gonna let me if I become an owner in the NFL team, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know, I'm always gonna be in good shape, always be able to throw the ball, so. To come in for a little bit, like MJ coming back. Um, I don't know if they let me, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. Tom Brady hinting at the possibility of returning to the NFL after his second retirement announcement in 2023. Harry, how do you feel about that? Yeah, Tom Brady, enjoy retirement. You gave 23 years to this game, and there were 23 amazing years. Uh, you had an extreme amount of ups. You had a tiny bit of downs. You are the GOAT right now. Enjoy retirement, man. Enjoy your kids. Enjoy your family. Travel the world. There's no need to come back. You don't have anything else to prove to anyone. He's also letting the grays kind of come out on the side there. I feel like he used to dye his hair. It's a, it's a little, uh, little gray there. some Beijing? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what they use. All right, uh, Buffalo made some huge off-season cap-saving moves last month, including releasing Tredavious White, Jordan Poyer, and Mitch Morse, three players who are cornerstones of the Bills' starting lineup, freeing up roughly $46 million in cap space. Of course, last season in Buffalo, it ended with a heartbreaking loss in the division round to the Super Bowl winning Chiefs. Now, several notable quarterbacks remain in search of their first Super Bowl championship this upcoming season, including the reigning MVP, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, who will be returning from injury, Dak Prescott in the final year of his current Dallas contract, and Josh Allen coming off of his fourth consecutive 40,000-yard passing season. Tom Brady had some thoughts on the Bills quarterback. Next quarterback to win a Super Bowl that hasn't won yet. I like Josh Allen a lot. I think he's, uh, I'd say I pick Josh. Josh? Yeah. I like Josh a lot as a guy, as a leader. Um, but you know, he's got to get past the Chiefs and yeah. that's hard because Patrick's incredible in the way he leads that team. All right, Sam Acho also here with us. Sam, I'm gonna start with you on this one. Do you agree with Tom Brady? I do, I do. I, I, I rock with Tom Brady on this one. As far as the notable quarterbacks who are next in line to win, Josh Allen statistically over the last six years, his six years in the NFL, has been outstanding. You think about the records that he set when it comes, even in the playoffs, statistically, that's who he's been. Now I think about, okay, what's in front of him? What stands in his way? And number one, it is Patrick Mahomes. And number two, you could say, man, it seems as if like this team has lost a lot of weapons, defensively lost a lot of foundational pieces, even offensively, you lose Stephon Diggs. But some of that, I think, can be replaced in certain ways, especially through the draft. Think about how deep of a wide receiver draft class this is. Guys who may be available late in the draft. Guys like Xavier Worthy ran a 4-2-1. Guys like uh, um, Lad McConkey from Georgia. I mean, there are places and pieces that could help fill in. And then also, I think about Joe Brady as offensive coordinator. He's who got their offense going again late last season. And Stephon Diggs wasn't as huge a part of that offense late in the season when they got on their winning streak. And so, I do think that Josh Allen has the potential to be that next quarterback outside of a guy like Patrick Mahomes, who's, who's going to be next in line and win a Super Bowl. Now, ironically, it's not by surprise, with Tom Brady in that piece, he brought up that you have a guy in Patrick Mahomes. And what the last six years have told us is that Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs, they're going to be in the AFC Championship game. So we take away one slot. You have a, a, an immense amount of number of quarterbacks that are going to be competing for that one other spot. But if I had to pick a guy, I'm going to pick Joe Burrow because that's a guy that I've seen, Tom Brady being one guy that has beaten Patrick Mahomes, the other guy being Joe Burrow. And I just think Joe Burrow coming back this year is going to be phenomenal. T. Higgins is on a contract. Well, it's franchise tag. He still has to sign that or whatnot. But I just believe in Joe Burrow. I believe in Jamar Chase. I like their underrated signing with tight end wise and Mike Kosecki. I think that defense is going to be better this season than they were last year. Another year of growth that they had in 2023. But Joe Burrow is a guy I actually seen it happen, right? I seen him beat Patrick Mahomes in the AFC Championship game before they failed to Matthew Stafford and the Rams in the Super Bowl. I haven't seen that when it, when it comes to Josh Allen. When it comes to Josh Allen, I seen Joe Burrow go to Buffalo and beat him. I see Josh Allen have the best opportunity to dethrone the Patrick Mahomes last season at home when they had that playoff game that I actually attended. And just hearing those Buffalo fans and how deflated they were, understanding that that was their greatest chance and not coming away with a victory to play in another AFC Championship game, uh, that, that, that was pretty sad to see for, for that fan base. So I'm going to go with Joe Burrow. 
Yeah, I think two things. One, I think about you talking about that was their greatest opportunity. I don't know if that was a Bills' greatest opportunity. I think Josh Allen, you talk about people in Super Bowl windows. I feel like he is the Super Bowl window when you have someone as talented as him. We've seen other quarterbacks lose receivers and still have success. I mean, we've seen that happen. Okay, you say Patrick Holmes, he's the guy who did it. But it's happened before, and Josh Allen does have that caliber of talent, number one. And number two, the only reason I would argue against Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow definitely talented and one of the top quarterbacks as well, but that injury history is one thing that you have to kind of account for, right? When you think about, okay, who can do it? Last, last year, Joe Burrow missed time. Rookie year, Joe Burrow missed time. When he's healthy, boom, no question. But that's the one thing you have to figure out. I was talking to guys who play with Joe Burrow. It's like, man, the one thing he's got to get is got to figure out that injury deal. And so for me, I think that's the only deterrent of saying, okay, will Joe Burrow be the next guy to win? He's got to be healthy. When he's not healthy, the Bengals don't have an opportunity. Well, here's what I do know. Of the four times that Josh Allen has played either Patrick Mahomes or Joe Burrow, he's 0-4. <laughs> he has that goose egg in the in the win column. Okay, HG, you said that um, the Bills' greatest opportunity to win the Super Bowl was last season. Do you feel like the championship window for the for Allen in the Super Bowl is closed? Well, as long as Josh Allen is there, it's going to be open, in my opinion. Now, it, it's holding on by a shoestring. It's, it's, it's very, very thin because of you have the arrival of a C.J. Stroud. Uh, we don't know in this quarterback class who's going to come out and be a, you know, a threat for their team moving forward as well. I just think you have Aaron Rodgers coming back. It's so much competitive now. But I do believe when it comes to the Buffalo Bills and their football team, they're going to draft a receiver, y'all. 